on Vernet. Amor, Davies down. The final round of the year, see. This is the final. And we're underway, and was that a false start? Daly, who's been so fast out of the blocks, just went a little early there. And then found herself in all kinds of trouble. But it's the quite brilliant Sara Cabrini who leads the way. And after a day of drama, how much more is to follow over the coming seven laps as we look to crown the first ever ESC champion. Oh, two down. Lara and Nehru hit the deck. Vernet is tracking hard here. Tracking Ponziani and Daly. He started the day in second place. Ponziani eases Daly out of the way. And she takes second spot. Quite skillfully. But it's Sara Cabrini who's out in the front as Vernet makes his move. And now he goes tracking himself. Daly had a little think about the inside there, but Vernet had the speed to carry round. It is the 28-year-old from Toulon who's tracking right now, who's trying to find a way forward in this race. He is the leading point racer in the final. Cabrini has a chance. And she's doing everything that she can to become the first ESC champion. Ponziani, who was awesome in tricky conditions, and she's got better and better and better. And those are the three who are at the front. And what a view this is. You get a real glimpse of the distances here between the races. Ponziani followed by Vernet. As they sweep round again. We're at the midway point just about of this race. Those here watch on. Vernet is doing exactly what he can. So gifted, so much balance. And he'll be aware that Nehru and Lara are not a million miles away, so he can't afford to make any mistakes here. Matisse Nehru, the Swiss racer, he's unorthodox. He finds different ways to get around the track. And had it not been for that big off in round three, you sense that he may have been there or thereabouts for the title. He's trying to push hard here. Daly in his sights, this is how close they are. And you get a sense of just how near the, the knee is as he tries to go on the outside. Daly closes the door firmly. His knees pretty much scrape the floor as he goes around those turns. And you get an idea of the racing lines. Daly weaving through the chicane. And she's become a real handful here. Nehru is all over the back of her. As they come down the home straight. And now they look to make their way on. One lap and a bit to go. It's Sara Cabrini at the front. But if things stay as they are, it won't be enough for her to take the title. But so much can change in such little time here at the ESC. Cabrini, smooth as you like. Nehru. And he only needs one mistake from those ahead of him to put himself back in the points in a big way. 
Nicky Daly's having a great race here. Nehru tries to come the outside, but Daly holds firm again. And her racing has got better and better and better as we're on the final lap now. And as things stand, Vernet is going to win the title. He just needs to hang on to his machine. Cabrini, though, will win her second round if she continues. Here is Sara Cabrini for Helbis Racing. And you see the distance that she's created. It's been an absolutely phenomenal race from her. As she sweeps round the final turn, she will take the checkered flag. But now it's all eyes on Vernet. Avon, oh, Daly's down on the last turn, and Vernet will head towards the line. And he's done it. Huge, huge for Amar Vernet. Confirmation of the result. It's Cabrini who wins. Ponziani in second. Vernet, a championship winning ride in third. Well, what a moment this is. The race winner is Sara Cabrini. Top step for the second time. But what about this guy, Amar Vernet? And the celebrations in full effect. They've lit up this racetrack today and on a gorgeous evening. The taste of success here in ESC. Goes to this man. The phenom from France. Amar Vernet, the history maker. The first ever ESC Riders World Champion and he deserves it.